What's happening, people? Hi, everybody. I'm Ben. And I'm Rainy. And we are the Journals of Awakening. I have the craziest story to tell you. You already told me. Tell them. I have the craziest story <laughs> to tell you again. Sweet! I'm excited again. <laughs> so, my father is in Disney World, enjoying the time of his life, right? Yeah, they wait till we grow up to do these fun things. He took me when I was nine. Oh, that's nice. So, anyway. Just my dad. He was standing in line, <laughs> in a line for the ride called It's a Small World. Mm -hmm. It's a small world after all. And basically it's a boat that takes you through a bunch of scenes with a bunch of people singing that and there's like a million okay. characters. It's his favorite ride. Okay. We waited in line for four hours when I was nine to go on that ride. Anyway. You only get the day pass. Four hours is a big waste of time. Day pass? Oh, did you get more than a day pass? Yeah, like a three day pass, you wee. You can't see everything Disneyland Poor has folk. to offer for... A day. I went there on fourteen hundred bucks with yeah. uh, with two kids and a wife. <laughs> Basically, don't go if that's all you've got to go with. You I know. know. Yeah. I just always wanted to go. It was an experience I wanted to have. Yeah. Anyway, I, I, I had no anyway. idea. Yeah, I had no idea. So. I'd love to have it again, but the food wasn't free. Bullshit. So, <clears throat> someone should have prepared you. Anyway, he's yeah. standing in line behind this girl. It's a small world. After all. And. And. On the back of her shirt. <laughs> says Rainy Carpenter, <laughs> first annual Disney adventure. That's a trip. That's just a trip. Like, and, and, a and, and, same age. She's the same age. And she has children. Twins. Weird. Yeah, so Rainy said, well, that's our time to move to Florida. I'm like, no, that means there's already a Rainy in Florida. <laughs> well, that's, that's, that's how no, I took no. it, too. But I was just seeing what you would say when I said that's our sign to move to Florida. Oh, it's a big no. There's already a glitch in the Matrix. You're already there, bro. Insert picture here. That's what I'm saying. You know, like you, you, uh. That's a different ego. That's an alter, alternate ego. I gotta fix this carpet during the show. Yeah. I don't think that I'm the main character here. Like, that's like... You don't feel like the main character in your story? No, I do, but alter ego? No, she's her own ego. Oh, it's yeah, just... no, I mean just like an alternate version of your energy. Or what if I'm an alternate version of hers? Yeah, we all are. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, it's, it's just kind of crazy how... Things in life happen. He was standing in the exact right spot, in the exact right place. Right behind her. Yeah. And she just happened to have it written on her shirt, just so everybody knows. It was written on her shirt. Yeah, so and it it's my dad, so he's obvious like, obvious as hell. Excuse me. Excuse me. I happen to have a daughter. <laughs> That's not what my dad sounds like. No, he like. doesn't. Go ahead. Let's, let's do your, what your dad's voice sounds like. Okay. Excuse me. I have a daughter. <laughs> I feel like it's just... Really? So really? Really? Hello, you, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> he says, hello. Hello. Yeah, he sounds like me and my brother. He's awesome. And I just thought it was super cool. Maybe it's our sign to go to Disneyland. <laughs> nah. Come on, nah. Um, nah, child, no trips for me. <laughs> our child's still too little anyway. He is too little. Yeah, and I'm not big on rides. No, never have been. At all? Never. I just don't like it. I don't like I'm not an adrenaline junkie. What about the relaxing ones? What the hell's that? There's a relaxing ride? In Disneyland, yeah. Which one? It's a small one. You have world. to not have children to relax. I guess. Or you or you feel happy and You've never com been there with children. I was a child. The way to feel happy with children is by being happy with their happiness. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, if I had a shot to do it again, yeah, it'd be a lot better, I'm sure. But either way, you, you're not there for you, you know? My dad's going for him. That's crazy. I know. That's what I'm saying. What the hell's your dad doing at Disney World? It's Enjoying creepy. it. It's going like creepy. Rides. <laughs> what are you doing rides? there? He's hanging out. It's for so all ages. Weird. Isn't it like a couple hundred dollars to get in there for the day? Yeah, well, he just got back from a cruise, so he's enjoying his vacation. Violent. <laughs> He's enjoying his vacation. That's well, awesome. I had pizza right before this podcast, so if I burp again... <laughs> you know why? I apologize. You know, there's a couple theme parks in Arizona, but I was just thinking, you know, Fantastics. Yeah, it's I've been there once as a child, but it's really small, indoors. Yeah, it's not indoors. That's just the arcade park. 
And we took the boys for Landon, for, like, when Landon was two or three and Connor was on my stomach. Oh, are you talking about the golf one? Yeah. Oh, that's lame. It's like golf and stuff. Yeah. Super lame. It's better than <laughs> golf and stuff. No, because uh, all I want to do is ride to go-karts and laser tag, but you you can't. Why? Kids. What? I can't I can't take a kid on the go kart. I'm definitely getting kicked out. I'm gonna be ramming people. I wanna have fun, you know. You can't ram people with go karts. I know that. I took Landon on the go karts when he was a tiny baby. Three. He had so much fun. I don't know, man. But yeah, I just uh I thought it was crazy how I can't wait till retirement. <laughs> no? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding, I'm sorry. I take it back. I totally <laughs> do. Can't fight. Live in the moment, baby. I love having kids. Oh, everything I love having children. So That's much, not what I mean. No. Everything is so much more fun when you have kids. Yeah. I guess I'm traumatized. <laughs> yeah, I guess mm -hmm. so. Because I can't even put myself in a happy moment with children. You know what I mean? I can't even put myself there. I feel like going to Chuck E. Cheese with the kids, well, this is going to be hell. <laughs> I know? feel like any time we take Connor to Peter Piper... It is fun. Fun? Yeah. Oh, I do it for him. Yeah, that's fun. For him. For us too. When I he's like having pizza. fun. I love when our my see to see my kids like have a really fun time somewhere. That brings me joy. Yeah, I definitely enjoy happy, happy, fun, fun. <laughs> I do. I just I'm deep in a rabbit hole now. Oh, Whatever. a trauma hole? A trauma hole, yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry for your trauma. That's okay. Yeah, Peter Piper Pizza. I used to work there. <laughs> I did. One Further of the worst down jobs bench in the trauma world. hole. One of the worst jobs in the world. <laughs> right. what, what was so bad about it? Oh, the fact that it was about 45 minutes from home, and I only worked about three and a half hours a day. But what makes the wage. job the worst job? Well, not the circumstances surrounding Management was crap. Remember I told you they tried to get me to shave at the fucking building because my house was so far. Uh-huh. So they tried to tell me to use this dollar razor and shave with no shaving cream in the sink in the kitchen, right? And I'm like, no. Why'd you have to shave? Or it was a write-up. Because you have to be clean-shaved to work at Peter Piper. Probably not anymore. You ever seen anyone over the age of 16 working there? No. Because no. you're not allowed to have facial hair. Why? It's a rule. I don't know. It's a rule. Same reason Walmart used to make us wear vest. You know? I looked so good in my vest, I wasn't even complaining. I didn't like to be asked questions. I liked... <laughs> I like wearing uniforms. I do, I, do, I don't. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't. I like wearing uniforms. I'm in my uniform. Swag! <laughs> uniforms make things so much easier. For who? For me. Find things to wear and shit. I love finding an outfit in the morning. I hate it. I hate finding an outfit. Everything about it pisses me off. <laughs> <laughs> Shakespearean quotation. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, picking an outfit's my favorite because the first part is you pick a shirt. You pick the pants that go with that shirt, and then you pick the overshirt that goes with that shirt, and then you pick the jewelry that goes with that shirt, and then you match that hat to that shirt. <laughs> I don't have any. Wham! I don't have any clothes that you match the shoes. I feel excited about wearing. So when I go to my closet, nothing stands out at me. You I mean, a I like lot these of clothes. You just brought home a shirt. Why? For what? Because oh, it's the new model. <laughs> but it's for work, which means I'm gonna wear it more than I wear any other shirt. This is my Taurus shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> anyway, um, I like, I got it because it's long sleeve and yeah. it's cold. And I only have one long sleeve and I don't like wearing non shirts anyway. But I don't, I don't look in my closet on my days off and go, oh, this outfit. You Me know? either. I pick an outfit as I wake up. No, I know, but I just, there's nothing I like picking. That's why I like having so many diverse things, because I can really m match, mix and match, you know? Yeah, 
I, I need guess. black pants. That's my only thing. I need See, black pants. And I, I need black shirts. I have tons of black. I could turn this camera around, guys. That's all I'm looking I at right now. I have two black shirts, a turtleneck and one with stars and moons on it. And those are the only black shirts I own. <laughs> you know, I want <laughs> more black clothes, right? Because I have all the hippie clothes I need. Yeah. But I need more black clothes. And because yeah. I thought when I was going to my hippie phase that the emo part of me didn't exist, I got rid of all of them. And now I realize that they're all just the part of me, and yep. I need to have clothes to match each part of me. Yep. Every phase I feel that we go through, this is a cool little rabbit hole, is a part of our character. We talked I about gave that. my sister-in-law my Bring Me the Horizon sweatshirt, mm -hmm. and I wish I had it back. Ooh, because Kate, Caitlin. Oh, because I didn't think I was going to wear it again because I was going through a hippie phase. Bring me the horizon? Yeah. I'm like currently on that. I know. <laughs> so now I'm like kind of sad and I want it back, but I'm not going to. I gave it to her because she, at the time. I want it back. She was, it wouldn't fit you. She was <laughs> I going. I want it. She was going through. I guess we just need to go to Hot Topic. Ooh. Spend some dollars a hot topic. That'd be cool. Yeah, I get some one day, rock sweatshirts. One fucking day. When we strike gold, we will go perfect we're gonna strike gold someday people we oh, already yeah. know we enjoy multiple streams of income. that's right and i just yeah so every part of me needs a wardrobe you know and i just i only have one part of my wardrobe but we have a small closet and there's nowhere to put like i kind of wish i had a dresser you have a whole ass closet no i know but <laughs> they're not small they're not walk-in but they're not small I consider small like a single door closet. This is like, you can put three doors right there. No, a single door closet is considered a coat closet. This is considered a bedroom closet, yes. A coat closet? Yeah. What in the world of Home Alone? Who has a coat closet? Exactly. That's ridiculous. That's a whole ass mosquito. I was going to say, that's a whole ass extra bedroom. A coat closet. No, a coat closet is a one door closet mm -hmm. in the hallway. There's not even a door on that bedroom. <laughs> so. So you know where our furnace should have been? Yes. That would be considered a coat closet if really? it had a rack. Yeah. It's a very small closet for coats. This is news to me. It's something we need, I know. I'm teach you something. You go under a house in some states, there's a room under the house. You know what they call that? They You're don't have them in Arizona. Get out of here. They're not in Arizona at all. Because we don't have tornadoes. 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 <laughs> tornadoes. Those are serious. They take lives. That's true. But I do <laughs> think that I want more clothes that I can fall in love with. So I can look at myself and be like, I look fucking good. But I don't have anything like that. So You look green in all your clothes. Aw, I guess I'll die. Aw, I hate <laughs> I want to go back to that, that place we went to. Back to the place that we went to. Yes. Well, that sounds mighty fine. With the cheap clothes. Oh! <laughs> the Buffalo Place. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, it'd be sick. I just stabbed my table. I, did you wear? Somewhere right here. I hit it with this. Oh, my Bam! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, so we, we're having a... Today, I feel... Oh, it's the wrong show. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you guys need to go... To everywhere you can listen to a podcast besides YouTube. Yes. You don't need to, but we'd appreciate it. And I'd say I love you personally if you told me you didn't. Wow, personally? It'd be personal. With their name and everything? With their name. With their screen name. Let us know. <laughs> With your screen name. <laughs> right? And on that note. We thank you. Peace. Peace.